historic moments in line with the G20 vision to recover together, recover stronger. Excellencies, please lift the seat back while holding the rope. Then, kindly place the seat back into the prepared hole. Allow the rope to hit the ground. We have also prepared a number of shovels, should your excellencies wish to fill the hole with soil. the special moment by taking a photo together. Excellencies, we may now proceed to the tour of the mangrove forest. also providing shelter and nurseries for fish and other water species. Mangroves can also store 4 to 5 times more carbon and even up to 12 times more carbon than our terrestrial forests. Then, yes, 12 times. Hence, having mangroves can contribute significantly in addressing climate change and of course achieving net zero emission that is our shared goal. In addition, this mangrove park is also used for educational purposes and leisure and ecotourism service for the tourists and the local community. So 20 years ago, this was just a fish pond, an aquaculture, but together with the government and the local community, we have turned this into a 1,300 hectares of mangrove forest. 300 hectares. And that is only in this forest. Also, there's 33 different mangrove species only in this forest. 33. Of mangroves, yes. And even um, in other places, such as in Papua, the mangrove would look different and they would be much bigger. And of course, it's going to be much older and live up to 100 years. mangrove nursery for sustainable mangrove management. This nursery plays an important role in supporting Indonesia to achieve its target to rehabilitate 600,000 hectares of mangrove forests across the country. And every year, this nursery only produces 6 million mangrove seedlings, comprising of 15 species, including those that are in the red list or in the endangered species category. Excellencies, in front of us is the open growth area dedicated for further tending till the seedlings are ready for field planting. Indonesia's tropical rainforest has now reached 120. 